Uh, Mark, you've just uh, signed a new deal with the club. How has that come about? <laughs> well, I've actually done all right. That's how it's come. No, as it was, we've been negotiating for a while, and I think just with the hour come in and with, with the new take, takeover and how well it's gone with everyone, and it, Richard, the owner, was kind enough to offer me a new contract, which I've, at the short time I've been here, I've loved my time here, and it was a bit of a no brainer for me to carry on with what we've started off. It's obviously been a whirlwind couple of months since you've joined the club. Is this kind of what you needed now, just the stability to be able to try grow the club? Yeah, definitely. I think stability to, to grow the club, as you said, stability for the players that we brought in, the new players. So when we come into uh, contract negotiations, they know that I'm going to be here. I think it was up in the air whether I was going to be here, with me coming in under the, the, uh, the old owners and then with the new owners coming in, I was a bit of a... <coughs> A consistent that I knew both of them and I was here if I was to be honest it was going to be a short-term type of job in my own head because of where I've come from and our other offers but loved every minute of being in here from it being so hard at the start knowing it was to get us to where we're here I want to try and finish off the journey which will be uh, in another couple of years to get Watford to where it should be and it should be up the top of the league it should be challenging for trophies. Now, I see the first couple of weeks you were here were Interesting, shall we say, and then obviously the last couple of weeks have been really good on the pitch has been really good Is that kind of what's made you think I want to be here? It is it was just the, the whole process we, I, ma I mapped up the process what was going to happen and Luckily for me as has gone that way It was to to improve performances to improve the players to improve the results and then just to improve the quality of the squad when the, the transfer window opened it It was like four stages and it's worked well and we've started to get results out of it. So look there's still a couple of transfer windows we need to get the squad to be where it is, but we want to be challenged on a regular basis. And do you know what's helped? It was just Richard Forrest, the owner, is so enthusiastic and wants to do well. And if you've got an enthusiastic owner that does want to do well and financially backs it up, that's all you can ask for as a manager. And uh, Mitch Cowling, who's a good friend of mine, who's the chairman, it's we've, we've got a good unity there. And the, the, the staff that I've got with Dave, Dirk, George, Martin, they're... they're it, it's just felt right. When, when you go around, it was just felt right to stay. And a big thing is the Waterford community and the fans. Where how how they're desperate to do well. Even even at the start when the results weren't going well, they were so behind me and the team. And now they're, they're seeing the reward of the results. But it's just to make sure that we keep... It's, the job's not done. It's only halfway. We've got to finish off the job this year and then hopefully stay in the league and build the, build the club to where it wants to be. Because... It is a community club. You go out in the town. We, we, I've tried to immerse myself in the town and the culture to get amongst them, just see how they're feeling. And they're desperate for this club to, to be back where it should be. And does this obviously allow you now to try to already be thinking about next season? Yeah, and no. I think as a coach, you sort of think about next year and the squad and you put like long-term plans. But really, football's a short-term game. I, it's not changed from when I first come in. We've got to stay in the league and we've got to try and have a little cup run. And I think that's our main focus. We've improved the squad. We've got, and it is a squad. It'll be a squad game from now till the end of the season. Very rarely, I think, will you see maybe the team, the same team play two, three games on the trot. It is because we've got such quality in the squad. And it is to try and win as many games as possible. We've got a points total that I said to the lads when I first come in, what it needs to be to stay in the league. We've got to get to that as quickly as possible. And obviously staying on for two more seasons, has it been... You know, as you mentioned there, the people, uh, the town, the facilities, a mixture of everything that's made you want to be here. Oh, definitely. And it's a club that was, it's probably at the, the worst it could have been when I come in. And that is something I relish all the time. I like proving people wrong. And I think people did say for me not to take the job when I come here. And that was a big decision why I wanted to prove people wrong. And just seeing the town, I want to... You go around the town, as I said, the community, they're desperate for the club to be back where it was and they're right behind us. And I want a big thing for me is to give them something that they can be proud of, especially with, it's been so hard the last couple of years with the, the pandemic and uh, the whole community aspect gone out of it. The, the, you, the people of Waterford like to go out and enjoy themselves. There's a, there's a big social element to Waterford and, part, and a big part of that is the sports teams, whether it's the GAR or it's the, the football club. And we wanted the football club to be first and foremost in the community's the mind and to get behind us. And 
as soon as the stadium could be open fully, it'd be a great sight to get everyone back in there and, and for the, the town to show how much the football team means to them and vice versa. And I'll tell you, looking just in the next obviously couple of days, obviously both Saturday, another big game in the short term, obviously hopefully continue that good run of form. Yeah, definitely. And look, with any football club, there's going to be ups and downs. We've had some downs and now we've had quite a few ups, but it's just a, getting the, the players and the squad in the mindset where, look, every game, point, there's points on the t table that matter and we need to try and keep our winning run going, try and keep our unbeaten run going. And most of all, gets that points total that I've said to them that, is going to keep us in the division and that is whatever happens that's the main focus of this football club because we can't get ahead of ourselves if you'd have offered us we'd have a chance of being third from bottom and it's not even <coughs> for fully into august you'd have bit, bitten their hands off so we're, we're ahead of schedule but we can't get carried away our, our main focus is we've got to stay in the division